Title IX was not tremendously popular with everyone when it first passed in 1972. The legislation, which bans sex-based discrimination in schools and sports funded by the federal government, was originally opposed by the NCAA, which lobbied against it. It was ignored or minimized by athletic departments at many state-funded schools and universities. But Title IX found ardent support in the funny pages. Charles Schultz, the creator of Peanuts, passionately believed in girls' and women's sports. Arguably the most popular cartoonist of his day, he used his platform to promote Title IX, with characters such as Lucy, Marcy and Peppermint Patty cheering on the legislation, and top women athletes of the era. Schultz started Peanuts in 1950. When he died in 2000, his strip was syndicated in thousands of newspapers and read by more than 300 million people in 25 different languages across the world. His characters adorned everything from clothes to school supplies. And the CBS Peanuts specials, which started in the 1960s, became treasured TV classics. I think it was actually Billie Jean's influence, said Shields' widow, Jean, of her late husband's advocacy of Title IX. A tennis devotee, Schultz met Billie Jean King in the early 1970s, and the two quickly became fast friends. It was a horrible time for me, King recalled in a talk at the Charles M. Schultz Museum in Santa Rosa, C. A., in 2012. King said her brand new organization the Women's Sports Foundation was just getting off the ground, and she was not seeing much success. King asked Schultz if he'd serve as a trustee. And he said absolutely. He was so excited. Holy Kamali, hell do it, she said. Schultz brought more than backstage clout to Title IX. In 1966, Head introduced a pioneering character, a confident girl jock with freckles, sandals and swagger, 